saw you on the view yeah <laughs> yeah so that that's been overwhelming my past couple days yeah is yeah. that annoying no 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 i mean it's just when i was on there i i, I really had no idea how it was going to land with the audience so i just went in there did my thing uh, I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know who Sonny Hostin was. I actually still really don't know. So I wasn't expecting necessarily for her to kind of try to ambush me in that way and, and uh, attack my character in that way. And so many in the black community believe that you are being used as a pawn by the right and that you're a charlatan of sorts. He's, he's not a Republican. Well, so how do you... Who, who, he's who never voted well, you, 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 You've said that you're a conservative. No, you, you, no. No, you did. You actually said that uh, <laughs> in the podcast that you did two weeks ago. I said I was a conservative. He's not. Yes, he's not. yes you did. I mean, yeah. it, is, it is a, uh, a rabies-infested hen house. <laughs> and, and at the same time, it seemed like the most interesting part was their audience seemed to be on my side. Yes. Yes. And that's their audience. Yeah. What is good, YouTube family? It's your boy Rashad. We back again with the Black Anomaly Rising channel. So I got to talk to y'all about Coleman Hughes and the Cackling Hens. Okay. They tried to do the Dirty Bird dance on him. They were trying to go in on him because basically he's speaking the truth. He's saying that we should remove colorism and racism from society and the way that we look at everything through like this race based lens constantly. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to progress forward as a society. And of course, cackling hens being woke as they are and political shields and tools for the left puppets, if you will, these folks wasn't having it and they had to try to gang up on them and go in on them. And obviously they did it in an unfair way, particularly Sonny Holston, who was a or at least is descendants of slave owners, particularly tried to go in on him and say that he was some sort of pawn of the conservatives which i find extremely offensive but we'll get into that a little later on in the video without further ado let's get into it and that race-based policies often hurt the very people they're trying to help what are some some examples of policies that would be better at reducing uh racial disparities so my overall argument is that class socioeconomics is a better proxy for disadvantage we all want to help the disadvantage and the question is how do we identify them right the default right now in a, in, in a lot of areas of policy is to use you know black and hispanic identity as a proxy for disadvantage and my argument is that you actually get a better picture of who needs help by looking at socioeconomics right. and, and income mm -hmm. that that picks out people in a more accurate way <laughs> yeah, i mean of course here well here here comes sunny before she chimes in and basically uh tries to deliberately insult this man he's 100 percent correct now what they're about to get into is how when you look at certain groups certain groups are more tend to be more socially economically disadvantaged than others now does that mean that it's because of some systematic racism issue no right you can make an argument that maybe that's sprinkled in there but the fact of the matter is if you live in america if you've been here long enough or maybe not even a short time you will probably know that there are issues with cultures in different communities every community of people is pretty different and the black community has our own unique challenges that a lot of folks in the community love to deny they love to embrace it when it's fun and everything's cool but when people call it out as, as though it needs to be fixed such as the single motherhood problem such as the uh rampant poverty and crime and gang banging and drugs things like that in the community all of a sudden everybody wants to close their ears and put their head in the sand and just act like oh it's just white supremacy that is the core issue it's just police officers just being uh, complete tyrants are being evil, right? These are the problems people want to focus on, not the, all the black on black crime and the lack of family and togetherness, uh, the ratchet music. Nobody wants to talk about those things and make any improvements. And that's one of the reasons, matter of fact, I believe that's the primary reason why we don't see improvements in that community today. I just, and, and, not my ahead. question, but when you say that uh, socioeconomics picks out people in a better way than mm -hmm. race, mm -hmm. when you do look at the socioeconomics, you see the huge disparity between white households and black households. You see the huge disparity between white households and Hispanic households. 
So your argument, and I've read your book twice because I wanted mm. to give it a chance, mm. um, your argument that race has no place in that equation is really fundamentally flawed in my no, opinion. I, and I want to, before he responds, I want to put it like this. As a black male and, you know, not really super involved with the Hispanic community, but I can call it how I see it, right? And the community, I mean, I wouldn't really say it as a white community because I say that the most diverse group of people in America is white folks, right? So as it relates to that, there is definitely a stronger culture of elitism in terms of education and career and just development in general, right? Whereas in the black community, there is, there is absolutely not a strong culture of that. I don't care if somebody, mama, sister, cousin, friend, then got 20 degrees and got a doctorate and is some big time CEO somewhere. Just because there's a couple outliers does not mean that as a monolith or in general, that the culture promotes that. Everybody, if somebody, somebody get in my comments, try to tell me that the black community is promoting elitism, your bold face lying is usually promoting degeneracy and glorifying a lot of these things. Like any of the, anything that's like a norm in the community, now you got people trying to push that forward and accept that. Like again, single motherhood in the community is something that I think is one of the biggest problems in the community, a lack of family togetherness causes all downstream problems. That's my honest opinion. All downstream problems is related to uh, not having families together. Now, I haven't blamed the women or the men. I think that there's a collective issue there, right? But the fact of the matter is the family's not together. And without people being together, then you can't really build together. You got a bunch of individual people trying to build this whole empire on their own, competing against the whole world. Meanwhile, you got all these other people who are competing. They're, they got whole units of families and wealth on their side working against a bunch of individual black people is just not going to work. Well, not two separate people. questions. One is whether each racial group is socioeconomically the same. That, well, I agree with you. They're the, not. The, the, yeah, of they're course. not. And the stats the question show is, that. But the, yeah, of course. I agree with that fully. The question is, how do you how do you address that in the way that... Act you see the way she's like trying to like just argue with him at every point? Like, let the man speak. She targets poverty the best. Great. And what Martin Luther King wrote in his book, Why We Can't Wait, mm -hmm. is he called it, we need a bill of rights for the disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, we should address racial inequality. Yes, right. we should address the legacy of slavery. But the way to do that is on the basis of class. And that will disproportionately target blacks and Hispanics because they're disproportionately poor, but it will be doing so in a way that also helps the white poor, in a way that addresses poverty as the thing to be. But that's not good enough for people like Sonny. She wants to only target the black poor people, not the white poor people. Screw them. She didn't care about them. This is how people like Sonny work. Because at the end of the day, she, she can't see past that racial lens. So it's like talking to a brick wall that's just going to literally just clunk at you, <laughs> right? Like we call it cackling hens for a reason because they don't shut up. I mean, they're literally getting paid who knows how much money every day to just get up here and speak a bunch of nonsense and argue about things that they don't have a damn clue about. That part is true, but... <clears throat> As you are a student of Dr. King, I'm not only a student of Dr. King, I know his daughter, Bernice, right? Mm. So I, I'm, I'm going to get to my question. Go ahead, go right ahead. Um, I mean, knowing, <laughs> knowing his daughter doesn't have anything to do with understanding his pr Dr. King's actual principles and ideals, right? Because, I mean, if somebody knew my father or my mom, I'm nothing like them. So to, to say that somebody knows me, Versus in, you know, we're talking about my parents. That's totally irrelevant. You, you can't pull rank here because, oh, I know his daughter. Like, girl. I think the premise is fundamentally flawed. You, you claim that colorblindness was the goal of the civil rights movement mm -hmm. based upon Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech, you know, content of character versus the um, color of skin. <laughs> in, in my opinion, it, it's not up for debate. It, how is that? There's no flaw there. You want people to be judged based off of who they are, not how they look, what's their ethnicity, how old are they. Like, this, it's to the point of being ridiculous, and she's literally trying to argue 
against that and argue against that doc that's what dr king was actually talking about she's she's trying to like twist his words around to say he meant something else bernice dr king's daughter points out that for who don't nobody care what the daughter pointed out what about what dr king said that words that actually came out his mouth recorded on video we all know the speech almost word for word four years after giving that speech actually um, Dr. King also said this, a society that has done something special against the Negro for hundreds of years must now do something special for Negroes. He also said in 1968, it was about less than a week before he was assassinated. This country never stops to realize that they owe a people kept in slavery for 244 years. So rather than class, he did write about that earlier on, right before his death, he made the argument for racial equality and racial reparations. And so your argument for colorblindness, I think, is something that the right has co-opted. And so many in the black community, if I'm being honest with you, because I want to be, believe that you are being used as a pawn by the right and that you're a charlatan of sorts. He's, he's... What? Fool, slap yourself three times. No, oh! Right not... <laughs> oh, my God, it's Sonny. <laughs> you look you know what the irony here that Sonny doesn't realize is that she's the pawn the whole thing about the democrat party that most people don't want to understand if people find it insulting they can find it however you want to find it but i already know that i'm right about this and everyone who has this shared opinion is correct about this Majority of black people who are Democrat supporters are pawns of the left. They're being tricked. They're being bamboozled. Like, it's literally a magic show. Imagine people making promises, never fulfilling them, and claiming that they're on your side. It's a joke. You're the one who's being tricked. Most of the time, the Republicans don't make any specific promises to black people. They just promise... They usually don't promise anything to really hardly any specific groups. They just say, hey, we're going to support America. We're going to keep the border safe. We're going to keep the economy going good. And, you know, we if anybody mess with us, we're going to mess with them back when it comes to wars. That's pretty much the conservative agenda in a nutshell. That's what I want. I don't want all of these stupid programs and stuff. Oh, we got to make these programs for black people and Hispanics and Asians and gays and no i just want people to stay the heck up out of my dang way that's all i want no crazy taxes no crazy programs where you taking a bunch of new money out creating a bunch of inflation creating all these fake jobs and all of this stuff no 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 i just want people to be the heck up out of my god dang way but sonny's sitting up here trying to call a black man out on television Meanwhile, she's the one who literally plays Democrat shill on a daily basis for the left. This man literally just writes books. Sonny gets on TV and spouts propaganda for the left, capping for Kamala and Biden, the probably the sorriest Democrat administration maybe ever in existence, in my, certainly in my lifetime. And you want to call this black man a pawn of the right? Are you freaking kidding me, Sonny? Lady, you are a dang idiot. If there's anybody who's got to be the stupidest person on the view, it's Sonny for, th for this take. Like, you should really be ashamed of yourself. Again, is, why do people feel like, okay, when all of a sudden you disagree with somebody politically, now all of a sudden you're going to throw out the insults? I'm, I'm throwing them back at her because he didn't come at Sonny like that. She came at him. So now the gloves is off. You're a dummy. Okay, no matter how many degrees you think you got, no matter how much money you make, you can still be a fucking clown. And Sonny proved that. Look at look at they fa everybody up there uncomfortable. Did you see Joy's face? <laughs> Hold on, let me go back for a second. Hold on, here we go. You're a charlatan of sorts. A charlatan. Wow. So how do you look at Joy's face? 
<laughs> yeah, that's even Joy was looking like, wow, because she knows she wasn't going to come at him like that because people going to start talking about racism and stuff. But Sonny, she thinks she could get buck with somebody on there. Man, I wish. Look, one day, one day I wish I go on a view because I'll, I'll tell you right now and maybe they'll see this video. But I'll tell you right now, you come at me, you getting disrespected. OK, I, I'll be disrespecting a weave. I don't even know if that's your real hair, your long face. I get straight up disrespectful. I talk about your appearance if I got to, and I insult your intelligence. I do what I got to do because Sonny makes a damn fool of herself. She disrespect anybody who is that who doesn't agree with her. She completely disrespects them constantly, and I really don't appreciate the fact that you got like black people coming on the show and you just totally degrading them, putting him in this in this box like he's some sort of pawn just because he doesn't agree with exactly what you agree with there's people who could disagree with me on this channel all the time and i'm not gonna say well they're just some sort of dummy or idiot you've well, you, 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 you said that you're a conservative no you, you, no. no no you did you actually said that uh <coughs> in the podcast that you did two weeks ago i said i was a conservative he's not, yes, he's not, yes you did so but my question to you my question <laughs> see, to you, see, you see how she's combating he's like wait when did i say that everybody else is saying he didn't say that She's saying that he did. When did this happen, Sonny? Like, was it in context, I am a conservative? Or was it just something that you're taking his words and twisting it around? Because the way you're acting, you're acting like you came to battle. Everybody else is looking kind of shocked. Can't nobody else even saying anything. They're just like, uh, what the hell's happening here? Is how do you respond okay. to those critics? Okay, let's let give him a answer. What do you mean? Uh, how do you respond? Uh, Sonny, it seemed to me like you're the critic. What do you mean, those critics? You're the critic. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I think it's very important. The quote that you just pointed out about doing something special for the Negro, that's yes. from the book Why We Can't Wait that I, that I just mentioned. Yes. A couple paragraphs later, he lays out exactly what that something special was, yes. and it was the Bill of Rights for the Disadvantaged, a broad class-based po policy. But he also says okay. you must include race. <clears throat> no, he didn't. He says it's yes, a... Yes, he does. Okay, well, everyone can go... Everyone should go read the book Why We Can't Wait. Let's not you get should. sidetracked by that. Yeah. Give me a um, I'm, I don't think I've been co-opted by anyone. I've only voted twice, both for Democrats. Mm -hmm. Although I'm an independent, I would vote for a Republican, mm -hmm. probably a non-Trump Republican, if they were compelling. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's any evidence I've been co-opted by anyone, and I think that that's, that's a, an ad hominem tactic people use to not address really the important conversations we're having here. And I'd, I think it's better, and it would be better for everyone if we stuck to the topics rather than but make it about me. But with it's no, not about no evidence you, but I, I just I want to give you the opportunity to respond yeah, to the I, I appreciate your criti it. the criticism. I appreciate it. There's no evidence <laughs> that I've been called. Sunny is being full of shit. <laughs> okay, she's lying because this was clearly an attack from Sunny, and this guy he played as cool. And some people are acting like this is a great answer. In my opinion, it's not. In my opinion, you need to disrespect her back. Clap back at Sonny. She deserves it. She's, I don't know who's more annoying between Joy Behar. I mean, Whoopi Goldberg's, she, she just say crazy stuff. That's just Whoopi Goldberg. But between Joy Behar and Sonny Holston, man, these ladies are literally neck and neck for the stupidest women on television. Okay? Like, out of everybody who I make videos about, I mean, you got crazy joy read and stuff like that on msnbc that's you talk about straight up mental issues over there but i'm talking about actual intelligence lacking head empty females joy reed sunny holston let me let me let this man finish up real quick need to respond yeah, to the i, I appreciate your it. the criticism i appreciate it there's no evidence that i've been co-opted by anyone i have an independent podcast mm -hmm. i work for cnn as an analyst mm -hmm. i write for the free press i'm independent in all of these endeavors and no one is paying me to say what i'm saying i'm saying it because i feel it <laughs> okay god <laughs> this lady is freaking insufferable dude like yo sunny that was just lacking in tact, in taste, and it was just disgusting. Because you're going to sit up here and try to attack this man all passive-aggressively and then try to act like, oh, 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 yeah, that's not me. That's just the other critics. That's what other people are saying about you. I just want to give you a chance to address it like, nah, Sonny, you was being a bitch. Let's just call it how it is. That's what you were doing. And then you're going to try to play it off. 
and I, and spare me the fake outrage. Like, how dare you say something like that? You up here just disrespecting, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, his 100% ethnicity, but I can tell you he has the appearance of a black male and going to try to sit up here with this passive aggressive nonsense. Anybody about to tolerate this mug, this mess from Sonny, you deserve to be talked crap about if you're going to come on the show and attack somebody like that. At least make it a point to say like, hey, no, this is what I think about you. Be direct. This is what I think about you as a person, not what other people are saying, because 100%, I've been seeing a view for a long time, and this is the type of way that Sonny thinks, to try to act like, oh, that's what other people think. It's not what I think, that's what other people think. Nah, Sonny, that is what you think. You was attacking him, and he was too chicken shit to admit it. That's the reality, and you should feel ashamed of yourself by trying to twist around Dr. King's words and saying, well, his daughter said this and ignoring what's in the book and saying, oh, he said black people should get specific stuff. It's like, chick, <laughs> like this guy's literally wrote a, a whole book on this. You trying to tell him what Dr. King said? Did you write any books on it, Sonny? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments if, if Sonny's wrote any books on Dr. King. Y'all let me know. I don't think she has. Anyway, guys, this Coleman cat is a little too nice for me. I would have been mean to her, okay? I would have been talking crap like, look, that's not what Dr. King said. Was, look, you want to go tit for tat with me? I wrote the book. What you trying to say? You trying to say my research is wrong? What you trying to say, sonny? You want to go back and forth? You want to look it up right now? We can look it up right now. I can embarrass you live on air. All right, all viewers, look it up in your phone. Tell me who's right, me or sonny. Let me know, like, since you want to be confrontational, since you want to confront somebody to the face, this shit gets on my freaking last nerve, man. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching the Black Anomaly Rising channel. I'm out. Sonny decided to take up a few minutes of that precious eight minutes and attack me as uh, someone who's been co-opted by the right and someone who's a charlatan. But, uh, you know, I, I would argue, even if I were co-opted, co-opted, hypothetically, <clears throat> that doesn't make my argument here right now wrong. Right. Right, because people that are co-opted sometimes say true things. Yes. So even if I were, I would say it's still ad, uh, it's an ad hominem attack. It's to the person rather than to the argument. Yes. So let's get on to the issue. 